Hey everyone, in this video I will be doing basic home automation which you can do with a SPDT relay and a microcontroller with Bluetooth module. In simple words, I will turn on or off AC load using Arduino. So let's get started with our video, but before doing wiring the microcontroller or coding, let just first understand how exactly we are going to control the alternate current bulb with a direct current device. I mean let's first understand a little science behind all these. In order to control the AC supply we use relays, a relay is an electromechanical device which have a small electromagnet inside, this electromagnet triggers an switch which is inside this relay and is activated when we apply some potential at its terminals. This relay is a SPDT relay, single pole double throw, this mean it have one common point and two other points which are normally open O which is always open and normally closed, E which is always closed and conducting. When we apply current to the electromagnet terminal, the polarity of these points changes and normally open becomes normally closed. These three terminals are isolated with electromagnet. Basically if we apply some current at its terminal, the electromechanical switch will get triggered and it will start conducting the AC current. Let me do a little demonstration. I have connected negative end of LED with common terminal and negative terminal of battery is connected to normally closed terminal. And as you can see the LED is glowing because the switch is off right now and COM and NC points are conducting electricity. To change that, let's apply some voltage to the positive terminal of our relay. And now it's not glowing, if I remove the applied potential from its wire, it start glowing again, now let's change the configure of wire to normally open, now our LED will glow when I apply current to relay terminal, and it's glowing. As you have observed, when we apply voltage to relay positive and negative terminal we can control the flow of electricity for these two points, it's like a switch, only difference is, relay is electromechanical but a switch is a complete mechanical device. Ok so we can use relay in order to control any AC device but how is this home automation? To make this process more smart and practical, we need to add our relay within microcontroller. Basically I'm going to connect relay with Arduino digital pin 2 and add a Bluetooth module to our setup and control this small setup using a mobile app. Easy right? So now I'm gonna connect positive terminal of relay to Arduino digital pin 2 and negative terminal of relay with ground. After this, take a breadboard and put HC05 on it and then add jumper wires to connect it with our Arduino. 5 volts of HC05 will goes to 5 volts of our board and ground of HC05 to ground of our board. RX pin of HC05 to TX pin of board and TX pin of HC05 to RX pin of board. And that's all for our microcontroller wiring. Now let's connect AC source with our relay. But first keep this in mind that you are using AC source which is really harmful and can kill you so insulate the relay terminals with hot glue or tape and avoid direct touching the terminals, use rubber gloves if you like. Cover AC terminals completely with hot glue as the distance between those terminals and DC terminals is very less so if you don't want to kill your microcontroller with AC source just insulate the COM, NC and NO terminals. Just take an AC connection wire which have a plug and solder it directly to a bulb. If you will plug it in AC socket, this bulb will glow. To automate this bulb, we gonna cut one of its wire and between the cut we will attach the relay just like this diagram. As you can see we have attached relay in series just like in switch so if we plug this bulb in socket and then high low the relay, bulb will turn on or off accordingly. Now let's look at our code. In this sketch relay is connected to digital pin 2. Then in void setup, pin 2 is declared as an output and serial print will start printing this message whenever we will start our setup. Now, in void loop first I use serial available which is an serial transmitting and receiving function. Then I have use if else statement and in those I have put this case that if our microcontroller will receive one, then our output which is the relay will turn on and then serial print will show on message or if the microcontroller receives zero, then our relay will turn off. An off message will appear. 
and I have used delay function of half a second so there will be a gap of 500 milliseconds whenever we will turn on or off the relay. If you want to add more than one relay, you can just add another output and assign two values for turning it on or off just like the first relay. And this is pretty much it. Now you can copy paste this whole sketch. Now let's upload the sketch to our Arduino, but first you need to disconnect the connections for TX and RX from HC05 or your sketch will not upload. Just do that and upload your sketch and everything will be fine. So our sketch is uploaded, now let's connect our setup with AC bulb and test it. Connect the NC and COM terminal of relay in series with the bulb terminal just like I have shown in diagram. Relays both terminals are connected with the Arduino. Now keep this in mind that you are working with both AC and DC so it's better if you use rubber gloves and do this all in someone's supervision, because alternate current is dangerous and working with AC is not a joke so be safe. In order to power the Arduino, I'm using this LiPo cell battery which consists of two 3.7 volt cell connected in series to create max potential of 7.4 volts. Let's connect this battery to our Arduino V in and GND pins. Two thousand years later. Okay. Now after connecting the terminals of bulb with relay, we can connect the plug in AC socket. So we have connected our setup to AC socket and Arduino is being powered by a 7.4 volts battery, so now let's connect the Bluetooth module with our smartphone. First, open Google Play and download this app. It's called Arduino Bluetooth Controller and basically, it's an Bluetooth terminal app which we will use to send 0 and 1 to our Bluetooth module. This app have a button feature in which you can assign the values to a button and then you can turn something on or off and this is what I've been using. First open this app and pair with your HC05 module and then choose terminal or button control mode. After this just start sending the values assigned and the AC bulb will start turning on or off depending on your command. Right now I'm using that button feature of app to toggle our relay but you can use Bluetooth terminal or any other similar app to connect HC05 with your smartphone. That's all for today guys, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video or a comment and subscribe if you haven't, S stay creative and I will see you next time, bye bye.